things that are just like forcing you like you got to work out you got to work out to look normal you know and they really kind of make fun of that with this character mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like the the kids kind of get the brunt end of it but the their you know the story structure is working towards this kind of uprising of that community that camp where they're like yo fuck this guy we're gonna take him down and we're gonna fucking take our camp back you know what i mean mm -hmm, so it's yeah. really about it turns into this fascinating kind of family film about unity and accepting yourself for who you really are you know what i mean or you, like uh recognizing your own identity mm -hmm. you know what i mean in a sense which uh, i think is great and it's a shame that a lot of people such as Yael, didn't know that this movie existed <laughs> had we not done it for the show. You know what I mean? Not to say that we're the only ones that done it, because that's not true. But I feel like as far as um, like Disney fanatics, a lot of people, including one of my best friends, um, Susie, had to know. She was like, what's heavyweights? What? Really? Yeah. Because I know she like knows fucking everything about yeah she's the fucking hugest disney fan and she had no idea about this movie oh my god <laughs> like, like you were saying how like when you watched it and you finally came across this movie you you watched it at night right do you think it has to do how they but it's still that was when i was like 10 or 11 you see what i'm saying like well, the difference since you said like it, yeah. it didn't do that good do you think that you just got pushed to the back Maybe and like we'll, we'll just show it like at night or or not show it as often because we're not getting as many views with this one that we're getting with this other movie. So then it just kind of got like, you yeah. know, it didn't get the credit that it should have been. Yeah, I think it got kind of like shelved as the odd kind of stepchild Disney mm -hmm. flick because of when they released it. People not understanding what they're going for. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or, yeah. or just like the stereotypes of what they were trying to do you know what i mean mm -hmm. or it was, people just didn't understand it um you know and it is kind of there's some like more like adult things happening here and there but it does have that cheese so it's like you're not really sure what movie like where what their audience what they were trying to have their audience be mm -hmm. you know what i mean sometimes here and there it's almost like two movies in one especially with this, I noticed, like, the, um, how do you say, like, the pacing gets a little weird because you feel like it's going to end. That you're like, yo, like, they got Tony, they fucking kicked his ass out, Pat's back in, but then they're like, well, fuck, you got 40 minutes of fucking this relay brace, bitch. <laughs> like, what's up, you know what I mean? Like, bitch, they, you yeah. thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they, they have this huge kind of, um like how do you say conclusion that you really don't feel is coming you know what i mean am i alone in yeah. that does anybody no. else feel no, felt yeah, like that? that makes sense yeah mm -hmm. i agree and, then, and it's funny that that uh that tony takes himself out basically yeah <laughs> yeah he does huh? he just like does like 10 backflips and, and falls and hits his head and then it's like oh here's his dad who's also played by uh ben stiller Let's 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 talk about how when he loses his shit, he gets free of that. They have that rigged kind of f fucked up jail cell that's electrified, yeah. and he 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 you know he psychs out that kid from England. <laughs> he gets out, and you know he shows up, and they have the teacher was it the the parent night where mm -hmm. the parents get to yeah. come and see like kind of their their kids' progress, what have you. And then all the camp, the, how do you say, the camp leaders and, and the kids have created this film that makes Tony look like a fucking horrible person with, yeah. ed with I mean, editing. he is a yeah. horrible yeah. person, but he just emphasizes so much. And it's like, you know, <laughs> the nurse is like saying, yeah, people have died. I think yeah, she says that people have died from this. And people maybe your son too <laughs> could too. You, so all these parents are you know and then we have tony he, he's like comes in from the top beams and he does this crazy flip which i thought was so like unnecessary that he was up there <laughs> like you know he could have came through like crazy through the but no he had to be extra and come yeah. through the damn window and do a flip and, and he hurt himself <laughs> he's like ow 
<laughs> and you know how he's like keep throwing these things on the ground and just stepping on them. It's like, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about that when he's like, you can't hurt me because I'm Tony Perkins, and he's like breaking glasses on his own, on his own. Yeah, and they walking over the glass over on purpose to yeah. show like his manliness. He's tough. But then it's cool. Be- I don't know. I really like this part after he goes up to the to the dad, mm-hmm. and the dad like without hesitation just punches him punch you know in the stomach and he's like no you're through here yeah and, and i really enjoy it wrong <laughs> and i really enjoy that because also the dad is kind of a bigger person mm-hmm. on the side yeah. you know so like especially having like i said you know you have all these different characters um like the guy who was like also overweight and they kind of portray him as first like as a loser person he was never good and they kind of give you the uh, the sense that the reason why he did that was because he was overweight uh-huh. um and you see this other character who's also on the bigger side um but he's successful and then i don't know i, I feel like by that punch it gave him more like just power and you know like yes you are against this person who is like super fucking ripped or super you know fit but that doesn't mean you can't defend yourself and you don't have power as someone who is like maybe less fit and, and on the bigger side, you know. So I, re- I really liked that. I don't know. At least that's how I interpreted that that scene. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. As soon as he punched him, I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, beat the shit out of him. Um, but, I mean, I know you wanted to focus on some other. Um, I just want to talk about the glass. That's why. Just, yeah, yeah. Got but um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt or anything. Um I don't know. I thought that was nice, I guess. But then um, they also kind of, it's weird because then they make the him what's uh, Jerry's pa- parents kind of seem shitty too. Yeah. Because um, when they come initially, they're like, oh, you look the same. <laughs> yeah. You're like, expecting. He doesn't look, he doesn't look he anyway. And then, and then uh, the mom's like, "Well, I get, or she, he's like, um, shit." She says something like, "Well, he's happy. I think so that's that's good." Or something like that. yeah, because um, Jerry's like, "Well, it's how I feel on the inside is what counts." And the mom's like, "Well, I guess, I guess that's good or something like." That. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know. I feel that is also from... If, I mean, sometimes just parents are really just worried about your health. Mm-hmm. But they really don't know how they're... Like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes they don't think how they say stuff. Yeah. So that really portrayed... Like, maybe... You know, they seem shitty, of course. Like, you're like, damn, dude. They're fucking assholes to this kid. You know, from the beginning of the movie. Yeah. It was like, oh, it's a fat guy. He's like, no, we need to get a hold of this thing because it, be- become, it becomes worse. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel like they were talking about like a disease somehow, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. some, I don't know, like I I feel like even a lot of parents right now, they will say stuff like that, not thinking the kind of trauma mm-hmm. it can, you know, even though they don't mean it like that, they're just mm-hmm. worrying about your health or whatnot. Um, but they, they, they forget that there's ways to word, you know, to word certain things. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, it, it's definitely. I don't know. I, I guess that could be another side of it too. You know, like yeah, maybe they're not trying to be assholes. They just don't. You know, like oh, that's my kid. I'm just worried about my kid. But like, parents don't always have great um, communication skills with mm-hmm. their with their kids. And you could chalk that up to why these kids are having to go away to this camp in the first place. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. It's kind of it's kind of weird and bizarre in that way. And um, you know, going back to you guys shared like stories from your childhood. Uh, my parents or the people who raised me, my guardians, whatever you want to call them, were or are kind of weird about like how. Your the presentation of yourself, you know what I mean, and they would always uh, critique like how I looked or 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 my weight, you know what I mean, or how I fluctuate up and down, or my sisters, you know what I mean, and they create unknowingly, just like in this movie, Mm -hmm. they can create complexes that will affect us in our lives years on down the line. Yeah, you know what I mean, even if we don't realize it that at that point. So it's a it's a kind of sad thing, and and I think that's why I really love this 
movie because it's you know really touching on sensitive stuff and yeah it's doing it in a light-hearted way but it's important you know what i mean and i feel like real people and these real problems aren't depicted enough like in hollywood it's always like i said like cookie cutter or the pretty boys or the you know the hot girls you know what i mean what's the sorry i'm just this idea just popped in my head what's the name of this um actor who does i think we're savior dogs um or reservoir dog yeah 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 uh-huh so, yeah and he also comes in like hangover i think is the the bigger and then Wolf of Wall Street the bigger guy? Um, <sighs> can't Is it remember. Jonah Hill. I think so. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Super bad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. I don't know. If maybe I mentioned one movie. He doesn't come out. I'm, I'm really not good at that. But I do remember seeing him. How that is actually something. Who Hollywood likes to do a lot because they would they would fat shame him a lot, and be like, oh, why are you so fat? You like just be dumb like that, and you could definitely see in this interviews how he's just tired of being portrayed like that. You know, yeah. he calls all these interviewers out. Like, why do you have to focus on why? Like, you know, because it's always he'll get into an interview and it always ends up going towards that direction. Yes, you know what I mean. Um, so I don't, I don't. It is a big problem, and also you don't have to be big to experience being fat shamed. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I, I know we all focus on that you know like this one is kind of like also um i was not emphasized but like exaggerated of course you know with these uh, bigger guys but i've also seen uh people who are perfectly fine health wise you know but as soon as they go up a little bit are overweight or you know just like slightly a couple pounds people are like oh you've gained weight you know and i feel like sometimes we don't recognize that you know there's also people out there who have been through fat shaming or something like this but they're not on the heavier side it's just because they maybe had a rough couple months and maybe you know whatever um but then a lot of people always try to like say some shit about that you know and that can still cause yeah a lot of damage because um, whether we want to recognize it or not i feel like our society or at least in america has an image of what we're supposed to look like as a man or a woman, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when you don't fit that, people judge you. Mm-hmm. Maybe even not to your face, maybe behind your back, maybe internally, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's something but that, that happens, yeah. you know? That's crazy. Sorry to get dark. Well, it is a dark, <laughs> it is a dark movie, man. Yeah. Shit. Got to get in the mood. Depending on how you, how, how, you how, how you, how deep you want to dig, I guess. Yeah. You say. Very true. So. You got anything else to add, James? Uh, for the film? Yeah. Um, let me think. I did have something to say, but I can't remember. Uh, no, no. I think. Uh, I mean, if you guys, if whoever's listening hasn't seen the film, I highly recommend you watching it. I mean, if you have Disney Plus, you can watch it for free, basically. Um. Yeah, it's a good film. I love it, though. Yeah, it's a fun... If you, Especially if you love the 90s and you don't know about this movie, I can't recommend it enough. Um, yeah. Check it out on Disney+, Plus, as James said. Or you can rent it for a couple dollars. It's like two ninety nine, I think, maybe, on Apple or wherever. If you're, you know, if you're doing the digital thing. Um, I enjoyed this a lot. And I'm glad we yeah. were able to show, showcase it for for Yael, somebody who didn't know it existed, and that he, you know, that he's fallen in love with it, and hopefully, you know what I mean. You yeah. just see it, it, the film right there has picked up somebody new. There you go. All these years later, you know. It's definitely a and, hidden gem. Yes. And now you can show somebody. And then you have to keep the ball rolling, you know. Yeah. See more butts. See more butts. <laughs> Oh, that's... <laughs> you know I wasn't gonna let this episode go and not say that shit. Uh, that's I don't know. Oh, I love man. I love all those jokes that are, you know, like you you who didn't say some shit like that, you know? And... So yeah. So oh, what, Ju- what, about the, what about when uh, when Josh ends up leaving and all those rumors start spreading? Like oh the the, cat, the 
Yeah, his parents killed him. <laughs> <laughs> All these crazy stories.